My name is Eleanor Brzezinski and I'm an Assistant Professor of Biology at Seattle Pacific University. I teach anatomy and physiology, I teach animal biology, and I teach general biology, I teach biology for the elementary education students and I am a proponent of whiteboard use. I use whiteboards because I really believe that the students learn more if they actively participate in class. And the whole thing kicked off because I was in a, a, a rate seating a lecture theatre, traditional lecture theatre setup. And this particular classroom had no whiteboards at all. The only whiteboard space was hidden behind the screen, the projector screen, and I used that screen to project slides from a PowerPoint. And I'm one of those people who likes to use a whiteboard a lot. I like to draw on the whiteboard, I like to brainstorm on the whiteboard, and I had no resources at all in that particular room. So um, I was teaching a summer course, and I was put in this room which was not very friendly for group work. So I asked my head of department if I could have money to buy some mini whiteboards. Would you like to see a mini whiteboard? I will pull one out for you. Okay. So literally, you can just buy these from, uh, I think we got ours from Office Max, or we might have got them online. And uh, what, I, what I would do was in my lecture, I would use them in lots of different places. So initially at the beginning of class, it's very important that you start from the point that the students come in. So either I would use a bridging type of question, or what have we uh, studied about this topic before in class? What do you know as a class about this particular topic? Or um, I could give them a clinical problem and get them to brainstorm on their boards. Some kind of introductory open-ended question. And then when the students worked in small groups on their mini whiteboards, maybe working in threes or maybe fours, I could wander through uh, the groups of students. And there's something about having a whiteboard. The students can write down their ideas uh, in big print and I can, I can have a little look and I can therefore see the baseline knowledge that the students have and I know where to start my lecture from. I know where they're coming in, the, the, the good ideas they have and maybe also the misconceptions they have. So it gives me a very good starting point for my class. I then would probably go into a little bit of more formal lecture time but I would pepper my lecture with questions that they would answer on the boards as a group activity. So maybe I talk for 15 minutes um, and then I do either a concept check or I could get them to uh, answer a question, like a multiple choice question, or I could get them to label up a diagram or to sketch out a diagram or to do a flow chart or to do a concept map. And this would kind of continue throughout the class. So it'd be like a little sandwich of me maybe doing some stuff at the front and then them doing group work, but always with me wandering through to pick up on those particular questions or pick up on any misconceptions. Personally, I find that students aren't very good necessarily at all putting their hand up and asking questions during lecture. But if they all have a board, then those questions naturally arise and I can um, incorporate more students' ideas in my teaching and hopefully tailor my teaching more to the students' needs. So it's been a really popular activity. I've used it now for, gosh, I think about three years on campus. Um, the students are active learners when they have their whiteboards with them and I feel that I'm a more responsive teacher as a consequence. Are there any downsides to using a whiteboard? I have to carry them around campus. <laughs> I have a rather fancy bag. Would you like to see my bag? Um, I brought it with me from the UK. It's a shopping cart. And um, the added sort of side of having the shopping cart is I can pull other exciting things out of it if I would like. Skeletons sometimes appear out of my bag. Students respond very positively. Uh, they have to be on board to be active learners in my class. And I always say to them, if they want to come to a class where they are sitting and listening to a lecture, then I am not the professor for them. So they have to buy in at the beginning. But usually, um, when I have the evaluations at the end of quarter, one thing they say that they really like is they like the group work, uh, they like participating. And the other thing about the group work is I think it builds community within uh, the class. It, it gets the students working in little clusters. Hopefully, they form then study groups. And it, it, it kind of creates more of a community, a collaborative learning community, as opposed to individual students uh, just listening to a lecture. So I think it, it, it builds community within the class, which for me is a very, very important uh, piece of the, the whole learning puzzle.